Hey guys, Super Bro Mike here, and in today's video we are playing Hello Puppets. Now this is a game that I got provided by the developer. It's a game about haunted puppets apparently, possessing humans in a research facility. As you can see we've got a camera up there, we've got a puppet right there. So let's get going and see what Hello Puppets is all about, I suppose. Oh, a TV set. Can't do much with that. Oh, there's Hello Puppets, there's the title. You sort of have to control it by like turning um, with a stick, it's a bit weird. We've got a little poster here, it says Mortimer Handyman presents Hello Puppets. And it looks like we've got all the puppets out on the poster. And it says Mortimer Handyman aired its first episode on October 11th, 1985. Created by Owen Gooberson, Mortimer and his puppet pals have been called even better than the Muppets by San Diego's Sun-Times Examiner. Wow, that's some high praise. I do like me some Muppets. So is this Mortimer? Yeah, that's Mortimer Handyman there. Who looks like some kind of like showman, I guess. You can see his little hats on the table there. And his little monocle as well. And it says, Mortimer Handyman, Owen's original legendary top secret designer, has baffled puppet makers the world over with its nuance and lifelike motions. Owen often says, Mortimer is more like me than I am. Hmm. Okay. Got another one here. Who's this? This is oh hello, Riley Ruckus. It's like a scientist woman, beloved by fans for her love of science and her catchphrase "more data." Riley loves her dog Roscoe, uh, requiring two puppeteers who is always at her side. Ooh, okay. She has a dog, and we've got this woman here, or puppet woman, I suppose. Daisy Danger. There's a, like a custard pie there or something. Daisy is a helpful, friendly homemaker and party planner, but if she gets mad, watch out. She becomes Daisy Danger and you better stay out of her way. So I guess these are all like the puppets we're going to meet as the story goes on. And then we've got this one called Knick Knack. Have a look at Knick Knack. That is creepy. He's like a mime or something. Knick Knack is the artistic one, in charge of putting on shows, theatre, poetry, music, etc. Nick is always at odds with the methodical, precise Riley. Okay. There's a paintbrush and stuff there. Um, oh, and then we've got like a little sort of clip from a newspaper here. It says, Fire at Handyman HQ by Alan Andrews. A fire erupted at the home of Mortimer's Handyman late Monday night. Eight cast members are confirmed dead and seven more seriously injured. The cause of the fire is currently unknown. And the story continues on page, whatever. Okay, so there's a the fire. The building obviously burned down. Oh, and we've got a Mortimer Handyman sort of showroom here by the look of it. The gift shop's there. Office is downstairs. There's Mortimer Handyman. I guess this is like the reception area. This used to be the gift shop here. Oh, there's Riley with her dog. And we've got like the puppet of Mortimer up here by the look of it. And a guy controlling him. Well, oh, hello! hello. Old bean. Scared what me. What brings <laughs> you to this strange little scene? Now I can tell you're starstruck, and of course you should be, because I am none other than Mortimer Handy, star of Mortimer's Handyman. Okay, you're Masked freaking me out, man. TV show. I can tell you're a fan. I can't so go there. You know, today's your lucky day. For me, remember it's I got like a noose around his neck. I'm giving you your very own Handyman puppet. Okay. We get our own puppet. Pick whichever you like. They're all the same. Wait, where's the one that was... The one we picked before was in our room at the start. I don't get it. Um, I guess we pick this one. Purple is the royal colour, you know. Okay, I'll just put this on my hand. There you go. You know, there's a reason handyman puppets are so lifelike and true. When you wear them, they really... Where you? Is she gonna come to life? I bet she is, isn't she? She's gotta come to life. Oh god! The guy isn't controlling the puppet. Look, that scared me, man. Arise and claim the soul of this host for your prize. Oh, so yeah, like we're under control of a puppet now. I get it. Okay. Oh god, that's a bit too close for comfort, man. Stay back. Okay, 
Okay. Um. Okay. What do I do? Here we go. Oh. Lift, Let's go. Hand. Hey, I said lift left hand. Ooh, I am. I am. You can't get in the way. So running. Lift right hand. There you go. No. Hello. Hello. Hey. 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 There's too many people talking, I can't understand. Oh, hello. I'm not making the host do that. Wait, was that eye contact there? Are you awake? Host, look at me. Oh no. No, 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 no. You're supposed to be out. A zombie zonked. I'm supposed to control you completely. Welcome to Puppet Host Orientation. Our purpose is to measure your host control and manipulation. Uh, wait a minute. I think there's something wrong with my host. Rhyme, Scout! Shit, sorry. Um, what if my host is not working? Can I get another one without any jerking... around? Ugh. You've had two failed tests in the past. The third attempt will be your last. Damn it! Look, you're not supposed to be awake, so you just gotta play along and act like I have total control of you or we're both dead. Do you understand? Yes. Say something! I can't! I am right. saying stuff! Riley sewed your mouth shut. Okay. Oh. Okay. Just nod your head if you understand me. Yes. Okay, good. Now shake your head. Good. Okay, you're not entirely <gasps> Wait, what's useless. what's that? That's horrible. What Did the heck is that? Something? No, no, just talking to myself. I didn't mean to, uh, share the wealth. Surprisingly coherent rhyme, Scout. Your future, perhaps, is no longer in doubt. Proceed! Okay, big and tall. Hold me up to that screen and I'll open it. So wait, was a creepy woman on the intercom like the face that was appearing on my screens? I guess so. Let's, uh, anyway, let's hold her up to this. Here we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Let the testing begin. Okay, it's like portal then. Uh, what's this? Do I have to press a button? Am I meant to do something here? Okay, listen up, Gulliver's Travels. We gotta press this at the same time. Okay. Three, two, no. Let's go on three. Okay. One, two, three. That was surprisingly well done. Continue forward. Did she even Let's press anything? Let's see the next one. I didn't think she even pressed it. Oh, but fair enough. Okay. Uh, let's go through to the next. This is kind of cool. So this is kind of like a mechanic where we're basically controlling this puppet. Uh, well, no, the puppet's controlling us. We've got to do Please what we're told. Please wait here and do not further tread. Another test subject is finishing up in the room ahead. It's like a Simon Says or something. Oh. Doesn't sound good. That sounds I'm like gonna be sick. something bad happened to them. Oh my god, okay. This is not a this is not a family friendly game. <laughs> Look at all the blood. <laughs> oh god, okay. Okay. Was a test of reflex and reaction. Which you barely passed to satisfaction. That's creepy, man. Test my reflexes when I kick your ass, Riley. Okay, so we'll just sidestep that guy. What's this all about then? So not get this okay. wrong. I remember this one. Hey, I can't reach the crank from over here. Kay. Okay. I remember this one. You have to turn this thing at the same time I do, in the same direction. Okay. So just watch me, okay? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. And switch. Easy. Easy. And switch. Nice. All right, nice. Huh. Got it. Another test passed. But this success, I suspect, was your last. Just rhymes all the time. At least we avoided like mutilation. Right, next uh, room. Let's do it. It's like a library. Please hold steady. The next chamber isn't quite ready. Hey, nice books. host. Look at me for a second. Okay. You're killing us out there. You're not passing for a mindless zombie slave at all, and you're dragging me down with you. I don't feel like you get how bad this situation is. I don't have time to explain everything to you, but basically you're in a decommissioned soundstage filled with murderous sentient puppets from a cancelled children's TV show who were brought to life by an evil voodoo spell, and now they want to drain your life force in order to sustain themselves so they can bring their cancelled show back to life and take over the world. Exposition. Actually, wow, that was pretty good. That was that too much for me to take in. No, I, I missed a lot of that, actually, because you were talking so quick. I have to listen to that back in the edit. No. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not doing it again. It's evil puppets. What do I, you want from me? I got that much. Look, it takes a lot of felt to admit you were wrong, and maybe I've been a little sharp with you. You probably noticed I'm not exactly kept in popular around here. I've never really fit in with the puppets. 
I've been trying to find a way to escape from this place for a while now, but I can never get past Riley's little dog and pony show. If you can help me get through this thing, then maybe we can get the hell out of here. Cool. But we gotta work together. So what do you say? Yes. Are we a team? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you for being reasonable. <laughs> I'll remember that. I like this game. This is kind I of fun. I apologize for the pace being slow. Right. The next chamber is ready to go. Always with the rhymes. Always with the rhymes. Come on, puppet. Right, this is too dark. I don't like this. It's really dark in here. Hit me on my head to turn on my light. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, oh, oh do I thump on the top of my head right now. Oh, there you go. You have to punch her. I thought I could hit her with the, uh, on the desk. We've got, like, sort of science experiments around here. It's like a science room. Here we go. Got a little computer room in there. What's this all about? A symbol? Okay, this definitely wasn't here last time. Computer in there. Can we go in here? What the hell is all this? Don't know. Well, let's have a look at this computer. We've got a tape player here. Okay, it's, uh, it's April 15th. This is Anthony Pearson, log number five. I'm sorry, I gotta keep my voice down. I think there's puppets nearby. This is it. This is fucking it. A real supernatural phenomenon. The one I've been looking for my whole life, and it was hiding here in a rundown warehouse in bumfuck nowhere. I can't believe I almost bailed on this place. I gotta get pictures of everything, not just for the website, for the world. I'm gonna keep my research in hidden compartments around the warehouse. I'll use the Vox Veritas symbol, the pyramid with the eye, to mark where they are in case I need to find them. I keep it at home, but who am I kidding? My home's a Pontiac Grand Am right now. What was that? Shit. That guy sounds crazy, and that's coming from a talking hand puppet. <laughs> okay, so that was like an investigator type guy, and he's saying that these markers, like... I didn't catch what he said exactly because I, <coughs> I was sort of like only half listening. I should listen to that better, but I think you say these markers like basically spell out something of importance. He's leaving them for us. Uh, maybe to show us where the tape recordings are going to be and stuff. What's this say? To all production crew, please remember this is a children's show and we frequently have child guests. Keep profanity and coarse language to an absolute minimum. Do you um, see that? Wait, what's this? Ah! Oh my god, okay, Shit! what the heck? Freaking dog! dog. Sit, my pet. That is a big dog, Don't guys. Them. Not quite yet. I do not want to have to run into that dog face to face. We've got like um, a little cutout of Riley Welcome here. Welcome to Visual Hand Coordination. This custom designed handy big ball drop and sort device will test your ability to non verbally relay information. Okay. Rhyme, Riley! Information rhymes with coordination! Do not question my rhyme participation! <laughs> She's just mad because she knew that was a stretch. Okay, teammate. I think I remember this one. Stick me in that slot so I can see the balls coming, and then press the buttons that correspond to what I say. Okay. Okay, it's starting up. Three, two, one. Okay. Green. Green. Yellow. Easy. Green. Yellow. Nice. Keep it up like this and it's red. fine. Oh, bit of it. I pressed red. red. Yellow. Wait a minute, it's changing. Now I'm seeing like nouns instead of colors. Tomato. Oh. What the heck? Banana. There you go. Heart. Cactus. Oh, what the heck? I can't see! Put me back in the slot! I am, I am. Blood. Grass. Okay, final round. This one's gonna be tricky. Okay. Red. Oh, what the heck? I Sun. pressed red. Uh, there you go. Leaf. That's green. Tomato. No, I pressed it! What Yellow. the heck? Um, there you go. Leaf. Holy oh, shit, we did it! Yay! I suggest you always fail somehow. I'm skeptical, but continue on. We make quite For a team, now. don't we? That's good. Quite the team. Oh, what's this? Is, can I do anything with that? It's a medi pack. Um, okay. Oh, we've got a picture here. What's this? Owen working on Riley Ruckus, February 1978. Okay, so that's Owen, the creator of the show, I guess. Maybe the man, like, haunting all these puppets now. I don't know. That's his workshop there. We can see another guy in the corner of the screen. Okay. Let's go on. Let's continue. Oh, Taxidermy rat. Gross. That is weird. It's like half puppet, half rat. Let's continue on. 
Can I light your head up again? Wait, wait. Stop. Do you hear that? Yes. I don't like the sound of it either. What is that? What's this picture? Wait, hit me on the head to turn the light off. Oh, okay. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? What the heck was that? That's really scary. Okay, let's try this again. We got this, guys. Okay. I'm going. I don't know what the heck that was. And I don't care. Because I think we made it through. We're in the, like... Oh, we've got uh, another one of those triangles. So that means maybe a recording is nearby. Here we go. Let's turn her on again so we can actually see... Oh my god! There's the rat. Okay, that scared me. Guys, this is actually quite a scary game. This is kind of freaking me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. So I guess we go through this sort of doorway where the uh, creature came out of. <coughs> oh. Whoa! What is this? A sauna? This must be the next test. Hold me up above the steam. Okay, I can see a shutoff valve. I'll walk you toward it. Just okay. listen to me. Yeah. Come on. Warmer. Okay. Good. Warmer. Yes. Warm. Just warm as shit. <laughs> okay, where is it? <coughs> Hold me back up. I can't see. Okay, where are we going? What the heck? That's warmer. No, I can hear a warmer. dog. Is that a dog? Yep. Warmer. Guys, I don't like this. Getting warm. Keep going. That's warm. This is freaking me out. I do not like this. No, no, no. Super cold. Glacier cold. Okay, are we warmer? warmer. Yeah, good. Polar ice caps cold. Unbearably cold. Warmer. Warmer, so it is hot. this way. Burning hot. Smoldering. <laughs> okay, where is it then? Colder. I, I reckon it must be Surface around here. Oh, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. Getting warm. Oh my god, there's loads of blood here. Though. On fire. Crazy hot. There we go. Okay. We got, got it. it. Good we got job. blood here as well, though. Just in time. This smoke is hell on my asthma. I don't have asthma. I don't know why I said that. You're a puppet. Oh my god. Okay, the rat again. The rat again, guys. And there is now blood. We have walked through blood. Um, What are we going to find in this place? Oh my god. Look at the blood, guys. There's so much. This is not good. This is not good at all. It's a test in the middle of this room by the look of it. But whatever was in here with us is now Welcome gone. Welcome to Advanced Visual Handling Test, version 1.013. Please approach the handy flag and wave machine. Okay. Okay. Uh, I've never made it this far. Hey, I can see you out there. I have some colored buttons in here, but I don't know which one to push. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Black. Red. Cyan. Oh, great. This is not going to be good. Blue. White. There we go. Good job. Now it's going to probably get harder somehow. Why do they have to be colour based? I'm really bad with colour based stuff. Danger, danger, ruckus. So what the hell? Oh, I see. One's a colour, and then the others are just like random words. The yellow, um, okay. Orange. There we go. Last round. We can do this. Okay. Come on, let's do it. White. There you go. Uh, purple. Uh, there you go. White. There. Purple again. Yes, so, yes, we did it. We did it. Nice. Even at your best, there is no way you'll make it through that test. <gasps> Relax, Riley. Your plans in place to slow down this accelerating pace. Plans in place? What the hell does that mean? Probably means that guard dog's gonna come for us. Oh wait, what's this? Uh, nothing. Good. Nothing to report. Oh my god, the rat. That scares the hell out of me. That rat man. What's in here? Oh, another tape recorder. Okay. We've got another picture as well. Someone being grabbed by the look of it. Let's play it. This is tape. Okay, uh, it's, eight. it's May 3rd. This is tape 7 or 8. I actually can't remember. Okay. Uh, they're not 
ghosts, I can tell you that. They're corporeal. The scientist one, Riley, she has a, a lab downstairs. I found it tonight, and I, I've seen some bad shit in my life. I've never seen anything like that. She's like a puppet mangler or something. She had these tapes, too. They're just stacked up in boxes. Now, a lot of them were burned, but this one actually did play. People think that the occult is all superstition and nonsense, but I can feel something moving inside of Mortimer when I, I say these words. I, imperfect as they are. His soul is in there. It wants to come to life. I, I'm so close. That was Owen Gubberson, the creator of Mortimer's Handyman. I did a little digging at the library. This guy was a nut, really off his rocker. Obsessed with his puppets, obsessed with the occult, with bringing them to life. He thought his puppets had souls that were trapped in their bodies. Uh, did he go crazy enough to try to find some occult spell that would bring his puppets to life? And did the world go so crazy that the spell actually fucking worked? Wow, that was Owen's voice. That's weird, man. So Owen was like, it's like Bendy Meat Machine. He's like bringing his puppets to life with human souls and stuff. By the sound of it, this is kind of creepy. Let's go through this. Man, it's so dark. I do not like it. Another sock puppet. Oh, okay. Be careful. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, the only thing I don't like about this game is if you get spotted, like, there's no way you can, like, escape. Can I run? Does he hear me if I run? He's just gone around there. Right, I'm going around this way. Good. I think we're through. I don't know what's in here. Looks like where the dog might have been kept. We've got another puppet there. We've got some kind of symbols on there. I don't know what that means. So what is this? This is Disaster at the Ruckus Lab Promotional Art. Okay, so there's Riley doing some more sort of crazy experiments. And then we've got another one here, Episode 3. Oh no, Episode 111. Jake Hopper and the Mangled uh, Maroon Bandit. There we go. And there's more symbols, look, written on this wall here. What's this mean? This is like a video. This is a game, if you guys like it, I'll do some theories on this. Let me know. Improbably, you have arrived at the final station. But I've added a special test just for you that I think you will find <laughs> quite a taxation. Good luck. A Thalatron, great. So, is there any way we can actually beat this thing? It's even got symbols above it, like we've seen on the walls and stuff. Okay, so this is obviously something we're just gonna fail, right? Okay, it's starting up. Three, two, one. Red. They're all reds. Red. Red. <coughs> Black. Blue. Okay, final round. I can't. Wait, wait a minute. No. This, this is, I can't do this. this uh -oh. No one can do this. From what Shit. I can tell, it seems your test didn't go so well. This is bullshit. That machine's impossible. No one could pass that. You're sabotaging us. I warned Mortimer about you. I said you weren't a handyman through and through. You had your chance. You couldn't float. And now my dog makes a two dart from your throat. What? Host, the dog? run! We have to run right now! Rosco! Get them! Which way? Go this way? Go. Oh no, he's coming out from it. What? He's coming out from that way. What the heck? Which way do we run then? This way? The door's straight ahead! Human resources! Go there! I am, I'm going, I'm going. Get inside now! I am. There's a dog, it's coming for us. Okay, we're good. Uh, what do we do? Just hit the damn button! Come on, come on, come on! There. Yes. Look at that dog, man. Do we, can we just see what he looks like? Is he gonna come through and get us if we wait here? He's quite slow. Look at the thing. Oh my god, is he gonna actually smash through? I bet, I bet, we best, we best go. I don't want to trust that. Turn around! We have to shut the door before it gets in! Okay. Switch! So this is like... We're kind of doing everything again that we did Switch. earlier. Nice, we did it. Well done. To me as well. Let's go. Onwards, puppet. Holy shit! 
Riley really tried to kill me. I mean, I always knew she hated me, but I'm a puppet. I'm one of them. I never thought they'd actually... You. This is all your fault. No. Ever since you came along, everything has been fucked. I'll kill you, you jolly green giant sack of shit. I'll... Shut up. What's the point? We're both dead. Best thing to do is just lay down and wait for them to find us. No, we're going to survive this. Okay, guys, well, that is going to be it for part one. I think we've done quite a lot of the game so far. And um, so I think this is a good place to sort of say goodbye for today. Um, but I will play some more of this tomorrow. I'll try and do a sort of second video and maybe get through the rest of the game. I don't think it's meant to be too long, this game. Um, but so far, I'm really enjoying it. It's lots of intrigue with a plot. Certainly some stuff we could look into doing some theory videos on this game if you like. But so far, I'm enjoying it. It's definitely got a unique mechanic. And thanks for developers for throwing me a code to this game. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. Remember to leave a comment down below if you are. Hit that like button. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. And I will see you guys on the next one.